Hi there handbaggers and welcome to the duck's nest. This is the military mom and in this video I am responding to a subscriber request and I hope I pronounced the name correctly. I believe it is pronounced Waldfrauk, W-A-L-D-F-R-A-U-K-E, across the pond, has requested a review of the Coach Mini Fay. All right, so let me just give you the dimensions, the height, and as I always say, this is much more accurate with the tape measure, but I don't know where my tape measure is. So this is about seven inches in height, about eight inches in width and her base is coming in at about four inches all right so she is classified as a mini bag and she is a convertible bag because she is a satchel a crossbody and or a shoulder bag and then this loop converts her into a backpack so we will see toward the end of the video how she looks on but right now what I want to do is take a look at what she holds so she has the turn lock and her hardware is silver she has silver zippers on each side and she is lined in fabric which you can see much better when I unzip she has only one interior pocket and that is a slip pocket and that pocket measures about three inches. So here's that slip pocket. And just for reference, here's a phone. Um, so this is showing you about what that pocket can hold. And here's a close-up of her fabric. The collar of leather around her main compartment. And then here is her pocket, her exterior pocket. I don't know if it's considered exterior if it's under that flap, but the underside right under the turn lock is fabric and then that side of the pocket is leather can you all see that and this pocket is extended so it's not flat and it's very easy to get your hand in there and um, it's not stiff at all. So her satchel handle folds down on the silver rings at the top of the flap and she is mixed leather because her flap is, her flap and her pocket are smooth and she doesn't have any feet, but she also has buffalo embossed leather. So she's really a pretty bag. And there are her leather zipper pulls. All right, so I have um, several items. I'm going to try a coach wristlet 
this is a coach wristlet that I have and it measures about I'm gonna call it six and three fourth inches across and three and three fourth inches in height. Let's see if she fits with the side zippers both unzipped. So she does fit in the main compartment and let's see if we can add something else. I'm going to try this Tiverton cosmetic pouch because it's about, or the colors are similar. I don't think I can put it in with the wide bottom first, but we will try it. Actually, it does fit and there is some room in the back and you can access the slip pocket. So that's pretty impressive. And let's see if we can, here's another pouch that I have, a Dooney and Burke pouch. Let's see if that will fit. And it does. And then let's see if we can get that phone here. and close her without marring her, and it does. With the zippers down, awesome. So this little bag holds quite a bit. Here is her coach hang tag, and then her price tag. I hope that you can see that. That says the MSRP was $395. I didn't pay $395. I came upon this item at the outlet and I do believe I paid $139 for this little bag. All right. So let's try really quickly another configuration. Um, this, of course, is an item that everyone's familiar with, the Dooney & Burke large frame kiss lock. I'm going to try to fit the Anushka cosmetic bag. fits and let's see if we can get this pouch back in as well she fits and one more I have uh, this is my craftsman um, tool that I use uh, it's a box cutter I'm gonna use this in place of keys as if this were uh, you know like a key case right there on top. And let's see if we can get the phone on the inside. I know it won't fit in the slip pocket, but let's just see if it will fit. And it does. Of course, she's going to close with her turn lock. So there are a couple of different configurations so I am going to pause the video and then we're going to see how she looks on. All right, everyone, I am back to show you what the mini fade looks like on the body. She has a satchel handle, which is a four inch handle drop. So here she is on my wrist. And she doesn't go all the way to the elbow. This is about on my frame. This is about as far as she will go. But of course, 
Here is the clearance at the wrist. And I am going to show you how she looks um, crossbody as well as suspended from the shoulder. But I have her on a longer setting so that I can also show you what she looks like on as a backpack. So crossbody and shoulder will be very long. Um, she has, of course, the dog leash connection there. She has two buckles. She doesn't go um, short shoulder though. And she has the leather rings to tame the strap ends. that you all can see crossbody but she's balanced very nicely and she feels really comfortable against the body she's not hanging in any weird configuration even with this um, backpack slip it's not annoying so here she is You all see that? There she is suspended from my shoulder. And I am now going to convert her to a backpack. So I'm going to remove the straps and take one end, thread it through. Which it does very easily and attach these are actually o-rings these aren't d-rings well they're not exactly o-rings they're they're a little flat right there in the um the leather loop and so there she is in the backpack configuration and I want to get her even of course so that she hangs balanced on your back and I think that's indicated by the um, how the buckles look up front so there she is and she's nicely balanced I might actually carry her this way I like this I'm not a backpack girl but I really like this little bag Thank you, Valfrauk, for requesting this video because I had never seen this bag. I wasn't familiar with her. Um, so I am actually loving this little gem. She's a cutie. So there you have it, handbaggers. The Coach Mini Fay convertible handbag. Thank you as always for watching. Thank you Val Frost again for requesting this video. And as always to all of you, happy carrying.